In a startling of events, members of the Patriotic Front Party have launched accusations against President Hakainde Hichlema, claiming that he has intentionally caused the collapse of vital government systems in the country. These allegations were made during a media briefing in Lusaka, where Amparokoso Member of Parliament Brian Mondovile expressed his concerns. Mr. Mondovile specifically pointed out the Office of the Director of Public Prosecutions, DPP, the Electoral Commission of Zambia, ECZ, and the Office of the Auditor General as institutions that have been adversely affected by the President's actions. The infiltration of government systems has gotten to very low levels. President Akainde Ichile must succeeded to collapse the Electoral Commission of Zambia. He has succeeded in collapsing the office of the DPP. He has now succeeded collapsing the office of the Auditor General. The judiciary, he has given JCC uh, to members of uh, his central committee to intimidate judges. He described this state of affairs as shocking and alarming, questioning how judges could be dismissed due to the existence of the overlooked Judicial Complaints Commission, JCC. As a citizen, you no longer expect fair justice. Because of the existence of the JCC, we have seen the abridged process of procedures through which judges are being dismissed. Dismissed like casual workers, unprecedented. You can't even talk about the police. Nobody is even talking about the police anymore. Because you know, when you talk about the police, you're talking about abductions, you're talking about torture and total brutality. You have two inspector general. One sits in state house, and the other one sits as a ceremonial IG somewhere. The one at state house is the one that carries out the instructions of brutality and torture. President Daka Inde Ichilema will go to great length to avoid the laid down procedures and the laws that we've set for ourselves. He's always talking about the bureaucracy reducing rigidities. I'm sure you've heard that language. Mm. His aim is to reduce rigidities. Even where the law is applicable, he believes he must reduce rigidities. Another member of parliament, George Sanga, from Lukasha constituency, expressed his sadness regarding the recent removal of the director of public prosecutions, Lilian Siuni, by the head of state. As a lawyer, I'm very saddened with what has happened on the floor of the house today because we have seen the end of the independence of the DPP. The DPP has now ceased to be an independent holder of uh, public office, constitutional holder. He has now become uh, one public officer who will be under supervision. These developments have sparked concerns about the independence and integrity of key government institutions under the New Dawn administration. The allegations made by Patriotic Front members of parliament have stirred up the political landscape in Zambia, raising questions about the motivations behind the president's action and the implications they have for the country. As this story unfolds, citizens await further clarifications and transparency from the government to understand the full extent of these claims and their impact on the functioning of the state. Esther Nkoma, reporting for Movie TV News in Lusaka.